Opening day for fishing is just weeks away. No gear? No problem. We've got you covered. Don't be like that guy carrying way too much stuff. You can catch fish with just a simple hand reel. You'll need to stick about two inches in diameter since you'll be boring a one inch hole into it. We're going to strip the bark using a draw knife, then cut it to about eight inches. Then saw about two inches off for the cap. We're using a straight silky saw, but you can use whatever you have available. I'm starting the hole with a gimlet, then using a settler's wrench to open it up into a one inch cavity. It goes down about four inches. Then flip your settler's wrench to cut a peg into the cap. Now you have a capsule to store all your hooks, bobbers, and other tackle. Make two stop cuts about two inches apart. Then trim the area to spool your fishing line onto. Now you've got a fishing reel and a tackle box all in one. Fish on! Today we're going to show you how to make a trip wire using simple stuff from the hardware store. You'll need rat traps, ram set loads, a few screws, and wire. First thing, bend the corners slightly downwards using the pliers. Then trace where the corners of the trap make contact with the wood. You'll need to drill two holes for the loads and two holes for the supports. We're using a small gimlet to make the pilot holes so the wood doesn't split. Using two screws, attach the trap to a tree or door. Tie one end of the string to the trap's trigger and the other end to a tree. Set your trap, then safely load your charges and walk away. That's it, your trip fire alarm is set. If anything or anyone comes close to it, you're going to hear it and scare the out of them. You've probably seen videos of hobo cells being created by empty soup cans. But when was the last time you saw a soup can laying around in the woods? Beer cans, on the other hand, seem to be everywhere out here. It's like somebody's been hiding in the woods drinking. Weird. So if you can find two cans, you're in business. Peel off the label, but keep them. They're usually made from plastic, so they will even burn if they're wet. Carefully cut the tops off of both cans and the bottom off of one. Then slice it down the middle so you can coil it. Cut a hole in the other one. Slide your split can into your hole. This is where you'll feed your fuel into. Light your tinder. Start throwing small pieces of wood into the fire. Now you have a fire source to keep warm, boil water, and cook. While coffee is the only brew that we can drink, we'll be using our Valk can percolator over our hobo stove. Everyone's favorite food is bacon, but what about vegans and vegetarians? Well, for those of us that love bacon, this video is for you. But what can you do with all that grease when you're done cooking? You can just throw it away or turn it into a resource. You can use a jar, but more than likely, if you're out camping, you'll have a can with you. Cut the top off and get yourself a wick. We have jute in our pack, but use whatever string you have available. You can even make wicks from wood, but that's a video for another day. Wrap the string around your twig and center it onto your can. Cut two small notches to make sure it doesn't roll on you. Now just pour in the hot grease, but try and leave the chunks out. Then, just set it outside and let it cool. And it smells like bacon. Want to learn how to make ice cream from snow? Well, give us 60 seconds and we'll show you. Mm. Gather a big bucket of clean snow, not yellow snow. Hey, get out of here! You're also going to need a can of condensed milk, vanilla, and some sugar. Since we live in New England, we'll be using homemade maple syrup as our sweetener instead of sugar. Our how to make maple syrup video will be coming out in a few months. In a big bowl, add all your ingredients and start mixing. We love coffee flavored ice cream, so we're going to pour some fresh brewed coffee inside. We made our coffee using the Volcan Percolator. The link is in the description below. Make sure the coffee is cold before you pour it in. Keep on mixing until you get that creamy texture. Then, add some sprinkles and enjoy. Mmm.
There is bad weather everywhere, from coastal hurricanes and floods to tornadoes ripping from the East Coast to Central United States. From earthquakes shaking the West Coast and blizzards covering the North, having a portable emergency radio is a must. It can keep you updated if there is an emergency and also keep you entertained while waiting out the storm. The internet may be down, but radio frequencies can still travel. They usually have hand crank turbines, but some are solar powered. You can tune right into national weather bands. Gusting to 23. At Newport, sunny, temperature 20. Most will have lights, but some of the better ones have USB phone chargers. We have links to the ones that we used in this video in the description. Please click like and subscribe. That way you won't miss your next Oscar winner. What's camping? What's is an acronym we use when setting up a campsite. W stands for Widowmakers. Make sure you stay away from any dead branches or, if possible, chop them down. H, hills. If it suddenly starts raining out of nowhere, where's all the water gonna go? Downhill and to your shelter. A, aqua. Try and set up as close as you can to fresh water for drinking, cooking, and cleaning. T, terrain. Now that you have an area selected, remove all rocks and branches from the area you're going to sleep in. S, shelter. Now you can finally set up your tent, tarp, or natural shelter. So next time you're in the woods, try and remember, what's camping? Please click like and subscribe. That way you won't miss our next Oscar winner. situation you may find yourself in. So always be aware of your surroundings. Say your school bus breaks down in the snow. It sounds crazy, but it happens. So what do you do? Start a fire to stay warm? But how? The wood's all wet. You probably have one of these in your backpack. Grab some sticks, about a quarter inch in diameter. Using your pencil sharpener will expose the dry inner wood. Then use the shavings to start your fire. Tinder is not just for dating. A lot of people try to start a fire using a large piece of wood. That's not the way to do it. You need to start small and build your way up. See how small these are? This is what gets your fire going. Tinder's about the thickness of spaghetti. After the fire has a good base, add some dead branches the thickness of a pencil. We call this kindling. Then and only then should you start adding logs, but make sure you split it to expose the inner wood. We hope this helps get your campfire going. Well, we gotta head inside because, because it's raining cats and dogs. Ever been lost in the woods? It's pretty scary. The most important thing to do is stay calm. You can usually backtrack by just using the landmark. But if you stumble too deep into the woods and can't find your way back, grab an acorn. Acorns can be found by oak trees. Oak trees can be identified by their leaves. They have scalloped lobes. After you spot one, start looking on the ground for acorns. The bigger, the better. You really only need the acorn cap. Clean it out and put it between your thumbs. Create a V-shape and blow into it. If you have a water bottle, you can also use the cap to make a whistle. Remember, practice makes perfect, so don't wait until it's too late to learn the skill. Please click like and subscribe. That way you won't miss our next Oscar winner. Hey guys, today we're going to see if this infographic really works. According to this infographic, each finger equals 15 minutes of sunlight. 
We'll need some help from our friend. I, I can help you. What, what, what do you need? We just need your hand. <coughs> we set up a time lapse camera and filmed for an hour. Looks like the infographic was right. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, a little privacy here. Today we're going to show you how to make a portable toilet for a dollar. Well, it's actually a dollar and a quarter these days. You'll need a pool noodle and a five gallon bucket. If you don't have a bucket, you can get one for free at your supermarket's bakery. Measure the bucket's diameter, then multiply it by pi. That will give you the circumference. Then just measure and cut the pool noodle to size. A utility knife is great for cutting foam. We're using the Razorback that we got from BattleBox. It's a utility knife on steroids. Then you need to cut a slit through one side of the pool noodle. Pull out one of the sides of the handle, then slide a roll of TP on it. Then pop it back in. Put a bag in it. Then wrap a pool noodle roll on the top. Now you're all set to do your business. And make sure you dispose of all of your bags properly. When not in use, you can store everything inside so it's ready to go. When you're ready to go. Hey guys, Sam and Mason from the Pop Fortress. Today we're going to see if we can boil water in a plastic cup. And in a paper cup. We're going to use our Zippo axe saw to process some wood for the fire. It converts from an axe to a camp saw. After we saw a few logs, we'll split it with the axe part. We're gonna baton these pieces into kindling with our new M100 from BattleBox. We're going to use a little bit of this hemp rope as tinder to get this party started. With a flick of a wrist, our tinder bundle is lit. Our fire's starting to roar, so we're going to put our cups in and see if they actually boil. Just place the cups directly on the coals. We sped up the film, but it took about 10 minutes to fully boil. It, it really works! works. Hey guys, here's a quick, easy, and safe way to cut your firewood. Grab a five gallon bucket and a hacksaw. You can get a free bucket from your local bakery. Draw two V's across from each other, four inches by four inches, then cut them out. The notches will hold your branches steady while you cut. And also keeps your fingers intact by keeping them away from the saw. Once you're done cutting, just toss your kindling and saw into the campfire caddy. Then you're off to the fire pit. We did this video for our friend Veronica Brew over on Instagram who needed some tips on clearing brush for her farm. If you have any video requests, please leave them in the comment section below. Please click like and subscribe. That way you won't miss our next Oscar winner. Wanna disappear? We'll show you how to like a ninja for about a quarter. Today we're going to show you how to make a DIY smoke bomb. All you need to disappear like a ninja is some aluminum foil and a ping pong ball. Just take a pencil or pen and a ping pong ball and wrap them in aluminum foil. You'll just pull the pencil out and then leave a tiny chimney for the smoke to escape from. Then just use a lighter or a match to heat it up until it starts smoking. Then just toss it so you don't breathe in the smoke. Did you know that the amount of smoke that can be delivered from a single smoke bomb can be gargantuan? You know, I've always liked the word gargantuan, but I so rarely have an opportunity to use it in a sentence. Just be careful and don't do it inside like these guys did. I don't think we should be doing this inside the house. Chill out. We don't even know if it's going to work. I told you not to do it in the house. Mom's going to kill us. Today, we're gonna show you how to make basil tea. Why basil tea? Because it tastes good, and it's just like brushing your teeth out in the wild. We're going to be using a ton of Uber leaving gear today. Uber's leaving? I didn't even know we ordered one. No, Uber leaving. It means to survive or to live in German. First, you'll need some fresh basil. Pinch it right before the leaves split. That way, the plant continues to grow. Just tear your leaves up and throw them into your boiling water. Let them steep in the boiling water for about five minutes. Throw in two tablespoons of honey to sweeten it up a bit. 
Then just pour it into your cup. We've got new Uberlieben Kuskas that we'll be using. Thank you to Uberlieben and Battlebox for the amazing bushcraft gear. If you like basil, check out our how to make homemade pesto video. Please click like and subscribe. It really helps our channel grow. What are fiddleheads? Fiddleheads are the curly tips of young ferns. They are usually found in forests and along rivers. Fiddleheads are grown in the northern latitudes from New England through Canada and Alaska. They are harvested early in the spring before the fern has opened and reached its full height. They're named fiddleheads because of their resemblance to the curled head at the end of a fiddle. Um. What do fiddleheads taste like? Fiddleheads are sweet like asparagus, but grassy and snappy like a green bean. How do you cook them? We'll be using our pinnacle camper from GSI. Make sure you wash them really well and cut any brown off at the bottom of the stem. Boil them for about eight to 10 minutes with a touch of salt. Don't go for too long if you want them to stay firm. Then strain the water out and saute them in oil for around 10 more minutes. Add some salt, pepper, and garlic while they are cooking. You can eat them hot or cold. If you can find them. Dryer lint. Great for starting fires, but also bad for starting fires. With a single spark from a ferro rod, dryer lint ignites. That's great for starting campfires, but terrible because it's also the cause of 16,000 house fires each year. So please take the time to clean the dryer after each use. Store the lint in old coffee cans so when we go camping, we grab a pinch. Cleaning the filter also dries your clothes faster, saving electricity, which equals to saving more money. So kill two birds with one stone, have an endless supply of tinder, and keep your family safe. This has been another PSA from the Pal Fortress. Please click like and subscribe. That way you won't miss our next Oscar winner. Hey guys, we're at Narragansett Bay with our cousin the asset and we're going caw hogging. What in the world is a caw hog? A large rounded edible clam of the Atlantic coast of North America. Caw hogs can be eaten raw, steamed, stewed, or baked. We make a local favorite stuffies with ours. Oh look, it's from a bag! <laughs> I'm gonna, 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 I'm gon